quick system tour. The first thing you see when you log in is your list of active jobs. Next to each job are links to the three most important tools you will use while shooting. The dashboard for double-clicking the participant you are about to shoot, the sign-up form for adding participants to your job, and the auto-upload utility for uploading images. To access a job, simply click on the job's name. This is the job detail page. You can think of it like the command center of your job. The best part about the job detail page is that no matter what feature you're looking for, there are only two places to look. For any features related to the job as a whole, these three dots show you the job actions menu. You can edit your job settings, sign up form, customize your gallery, and much more. For any features related to individual participants or what we call shoots, these three dots show you the shoot actions menu. Here, you can export a list of retouched choices, mass email your participants, and import or export a CSV file of participants. The shortcuts panel gives you fast access to all the main tools you need while shooting. For example, the dashboard, sign-up form, and auto-upload utility like we saw earlier. Even access to the full gallery of all participants. Here you'll also find the job's automatically generated QR code. Participants can scan this to instantly access the sign-up form on their own devices. You can even use our print template to customize a QR code sign and print it directly from your browser. Here you can see some statistics for your job. Pro tip, say you want to know more about anything in Headshot Tools. Simply hover your mouse over it to see more. This is the shoot list, which shows you the names, emails, and status of every shoot participant inside the job. You can also easily search or sort participants by name, email, or shoot status. Clicking on the name of any participant takes you to their shoot detail page. If you need to make any changes, like editing their email address, removing gallery images, or deleting the shoot entirely, you can do that here. Now you know your way around headshot tools. Remember that you can find a detailed explanation of all the individual features and tools in the help section here, or by clicking the question mark on that specific feature. If you have any questions after reviewing the help section, feel free to email support at headshottools.com.